friends, happy July 4th, and of course, let's get cracking. Today, friends, we're going to start on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. We're going to start by zipping down here to my HL Mod Tech favorites. Friends, this is where I put the projects that I think are worthy of a staff pick. Of course, you can check out the normal Tinkercad staff picks here. We've got the current and the bonus favorite. They've been there for a while, but today I have just added the Master, the Grid, and Softbox. This is a slick tutorial to make a coin display case. It's really about the skills, though. Adding this grid of holes into the softbox is super slick. Of course, reactions are always appreciated, and you can find the tutorial right here. As a bonus, this also combines with the coin project, which is a ton of fun. With that out of the way, I'm going to bounce back to the new shares. Of course, anytime you add the tag HLMT23 to your projects, I will check them out, and I will give you a reaction. EX, that is absolutely fantastic. We've also got a wicked cool bus from Fast Designs. Of course, reaction given. And we have got a sweet house by Miracat. Absolutely fantastic. Check this out. You can hit view in 3D to see it all. Here's another bonus. If you do control A and F, it actually selects it all and zooms out so you can see it from every angle. How cool is that? We also have got a fantastic bunt cake created by the Donut King. Gonna give that a wow. And we've got fantastic projects by ZDP189. This is a fantastic example of an expensive item that has been redesigned in Tinkercad. Now the other bonus is that ZDP always leaves them to copy and tinker. Don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. The other thing I want to highlight is that you can always click on a user's name to see all their amazing projects. I chose to do this because there are a few projects I want to highlight. First, I want to highlight a fantastic project that was created for Master Copier. This is part of a post that was in my Patreon. You can check out that community right there. Of course, I'm going to give a reaction because the project is always set to copy and tinker. The other one I want to check out, friends, is the Combat Robot Arena. Now, this started with a challenge by Loboco and it turned into a fantastic interactive project where you and a partner can actually play against each other. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Now, once in, if you do Control A and you do F to fit view, it'll zoom out so you can see the entire environment. There are a few notes. These are called flyweight robots and they must fit in the cube and they must weigh under 75 grams in SimLab. If we zoom in over on this part right here, I'm gonna hit F so we can get close. And it tells us how this little robot operates. It uses the keys Y, I, U, N, H, and K. If you look on your keyboard, these are all on the right side. So whoever runs this robot should sit on the right of the keyboard. I'm going to do Control A and F again. Now I'm going to click on this robot and let's do F for fit view. I'll zoom out a little bit and you can see that it uses Q, E, W, which are on the left side of the keyboards. And then it also uses X, A, and D, finally S to stop. And if we move out just a little further, we can also find that there are moving obstacles. Friends, right now I'm going to quickly go to SimLab. Notice the geometry takes a moment to settle. That's what that orange is. All right, so let's hit play and let's do some driving. As you can see, we've got the obstacles moving. There is my U for forward with that robot. With the other one, it is the W that is forward. X is backwards, so that's easy to drive. We can also spin it with the A and the D. Everything is groovy there. Of course, with the other one, same type of commands. We have got N to go backwards. Of course, I want to try and get down. I just turned on the blade with Y. If, if I hit I, I can shut it off. I'm going to use U to get it down to the ground level. 
Let's spin it around, of course, with that H or K. Once you get used to these, the controls are pretty darn slick. Let's use video editing to speed up the battle. I'm gonna quickly hit reset and back up to the main screen. All right, so I only played for a moment, but what I really wanna highlight is that you have got complete control over these robots. You can click on the connectors, change the motor types, adjust the torque, speeds, and set up the interactions. These are the keyboard controls that make each robot do its tricks. Of course, you can have a ton of fun modifying those, changing the speeds, trying to make these robots function even more. If you've never played with this, check out my SimLab playlist. I will put it up here in the corner. There is so much fun to be had using Tinkercad's SimLab. Of course, friends, if you do make something awesome with this robot or any other project, if you make it public and add the HLMT23 tag, of course, I'll check it out. Friends, a huge shout out to everybody supporting me via YouTube memberships. There are three different levels of support for as little as $5 a month. Of course, one of my favorite perks is that you get early access to videos. I also want to say thank you to everybody supporting me via Patreon. Love how that group is growing. There is a fantastic messaging board. You can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HO Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day. Happy 4th of July, and keep tinkering.